Welcome to Rolling On TV. For the next two weeks, we're taking you to Elkhart, Indiana for the annual RV Open House, where you'll see some new RVs that, well, even some dealers haven't seen yet. So get comfortable and let's see what's new for 2014. Closed and Spanish captioning, where available, is sponsored by Jayco. At Jayco, we've been making family dreams come true since 1968. This week, we're in the RV capital of the world for the biggest collection of new RV models anywhere in the world. This is not really a show, although it looks like one. It's simply called The Open House. Starting at the RVMH Hall of Fame Museum and stretching virtually the length of County Road 6, what are usually empty fields turn into massive displays of RVs from virtually every manufacturer. This outdoor event is strictly for dealers and not open to the public, so we'll try and show you some of the new products you'll be seeing in 2014. Let's start off by seeing what's new from Thor Motor Coach, and to show us is John Kreider, Thor's Director of Marketing. First off, I asked John to explain the origin of Thor Motor Coach. Thor Motor Coach started back in 2010, it was September, and uh, it was the culmination of Damon Motor Coach and Four Winds International. Um, those were two very long-standing companies that 20, 20 plus years as far as the manufacturing experience. And uh, it was decided by Thor Industries. We kind of looked and we said, okay, what makes sense for the motorhome business? And so we took these two entities that were known in the market, but they weren't known as well as what we'd like them to be known. And we said our biggest strength is gonna be the Thor name. So let's take the Thor name and let's take our motorhome company, which is the only part of Thor that actually does motorhomes. Everything else in Thor is pretty much trailers. So you've got the Keystones and the Crossroads and the Airstreams, but you had this entity that was motorhomes that we wanted to be Thor Motor Coach. So Damon, Four Winds came together September of 2010, created this new company called Thor Motor Coach, and now we are the largest retailer of motorhomes in, in the U.S., let's just say North America. Keep in mind that the products John will show us are brand new, as he explains. What we're going to see today and what we're going to talk about are products that uh, have never been shown to the retail public. Actually, most of the dealers have never seen them. And so uh, whoever is going to be uh, watching this is really going to have a first-hand account that um, even some dealers won't even have, be able to see this early. So what are we going to look at first? Well, at Thor Motor Coach, we do the whole gamut of product. We go from uh, um, a very small 22-foot uh, Class C all the way up to a 45-foot diesel. So we're going to start off and we're going to look at the Class C, which is um, when Four Winds was the company, was the biggest thing that they built was um, Class C motorhomes. And so as you can see, I'm standing here in front of a Four Winds motorhome. And so this is a brand new floor plan that we have. And it is a, a 31 foot and it's a new bunk bed slide. And we think that we've really done something cool with this floor plan, which is different than all the other bunk bed slides that are out there in the market. On this particular model, we call this our 31E. And uh, what we like about this with it being bunk beds, you'll notice that there's no bunk beds on this side of the motorhome. Most bunk beds, when the, when the bunk slides come out, they've always put them on the passenger side of the coach. So that means your paddy wanting usually was smaller. It also meant that usually if you were entertaining or anything at night, you had to get real quiet after about 10 o'clock if the kids decide to go in and go to bed. Well, now we've taken that concept, moved the bunks to the other side of the coach. So now you can be out underneath your paddy wanting. Your awning gets a lot bigger, so you have a lot more coverage of your camp area. And then also the kids, when they go inside, they're not gonna hear all the commotion that may be going on outside. Because let's face it, sometimes after the kids go to bed, mom and dad aren't quite ready to go to sleep yet. One of the big upgrades that the 31 foot models on the Four Winds, uh, and then also its sister product, the Chateau have, is that we've put a lot more um, residential features into the Class C's for this year. So you've got uh, things like solid surface countertop, which uh, really brings that homely feeling into the kitchen. You've got residential 30 inch microwave, um, which is the big one that you have over your range like you would in your house. Um, you've got a very eco-conscious LED lighting, so it takes a lot less electricity, uh, but it also can run a lot longer, it doesn't drain your battery. Um, you've got increased storage throughout the entire coach, which let's face it, if you're traveling with children and you put them in the bunks, you not only need place for mom and dad, but the kids and everything else that goes with it. And then of course, all the Thor Motor Coach products are all, are all very pet friendly. 
So your residential flooring, your furniture, everything is very pet friendly. So if you got the cats or the dogs and they get on the furniture, their nails aren't gonna puncture the furniture. The residential flooring is gonna make it where um, if, if there's an accident possibly or anything in the coach, it's very easy to clean up. And of course, the mud and the dirt and anything else that comes in from the outside is very easy to clean up. It's not like carpet that gets dirty and you can never really get it clean again. Another great feature of the new Four Winds and Chateau is the outside TV with a Bluetooth stereo system located in the bedroom with speakers inside and out. Well, if you're in the market for a new Class C motorhome, you should definitely check out the new Four Winds. Coming up after the break, John shows us Thor's new RUV. Yep, you heard right, a recreational utility vehicle. Don't go away, we'll be right back. It all starts with pride and ends up being the gold standard in pop-up truck campers. Four-wheel campers. Need we say more? See for yourself by visiting fourwheelcampers.com. Is your pop-up camper canvas getting a little worse for wear? Don't fret, just call the friendly folks at Canvas Replacements and their experienced staff will cut and sew you up a new one in no time. Canvas Replacements, your number one source for all your pop-up camper canvas needs. For more information, visit the company website at canvasreplacements.com or call them at 800-232-2079. Welcome back. Now let's get back with John Kreider and check out the new Vegas RUV. All you have to do is take a look at the front end of this Vegas and you're going to see why this is so much different than everything else out there in the market. Just take a look at the rolling windshield as it goes up and it moves on. It's very aerodynamic. It's very sleek. Uh, we expect this thing to just cut right through the wind when it's driving down the road. The look up front is different. It doesn't look like a traditional motor home where it's just kind of flat like a bread box up front. It's sleek, very aerodynamic. It's got a very cool uh, headlight design. It's got LED strip lighting that runs down here. So when you usually see the Audi coming towards you when you're driving down the road, you're gonna notice that now you're gonna have the Vegas coming at you when you're going down the road. The grill design and everything is set up so it get plenty of airflow up front. So we expect it to, uh, like I said, cut through the wind. And then also, as you, as you kind of move around to the front, this is our HD Max exterior graphics package, which is all colored fiberglass. So there's no paint on here, so you don't have to worry about paint repairs or anything like that. And the HD Max repairs just like a boat hull would. So if you put a scratch in or something, you can just simply go and just buff it out, or you can actually sand it down and fill in the color with gel coat. And we do a special process on all these caps that actually increases the gel quality. So as the coach gets a little bit older, you're not gonna have any fading or anything on this gel coat glass. Um, and it really saves you the time and the effort and the money you would be trying to upkeep paint. So we try to keep it um, kind of down and dirty there. This is built on a Ford chassis and it's only got a 12,500 pound GVW. So it's gonna be very lightweight. So that light weight is gonna turn into uh, maximum efficiency when it's going down the road. So that light weight really helps what you're gonna do. It's got 16 inch tires on it, which keeps it nice and low to the ground. And also all your mirrors are gonna be chrome. So it really gives you that upgrade look on the outside. And don't forget, it's gonna have a three camera system. So now you can see the back of your coach and down both sides. So it'll eliminate any blind spots. Now I'm not sure if you can really see it, but as we kind of look down the side of the coach here, you'll notice that it tapers. So the front end is actually narrower than the rest of the coach. The coach starts off only actually being 94 inches wide, so it's very compact. So fitting into a parking spot, maybe in the Walmart parking lot, or even if you've got a parallel park this, it's gonna make it easy. And then it actually tapers in another five inches at the front, so it kind of hugs you up in the cockpit, and it gets rid of that kind of, uh, that overwhelming feeling that maybe a Class A motor home would have, where it's so big and so vast, it kind of narrows it down and makes it feel more like a cab chassis, kind of more like a class C. And then of course on the outside, we've got the, these, uh, these windows here. And the windows are really cool because they're frameless. So they look very um, sporty, they look very high end. A lot of times you'll see these frameless windows and like a Prevo bus or maybe something that's very expensive. Um, and of course, 
you know, we're talking about a, a retail price around $70,000 for this coach. So we're talking about something that's gonna be very affordable. And we're hoping that as, a, as people look at this and they think about what can I afford? What do I wanna do with a coach? Because maybe this isn't going to be just a coach that you're gonna travel on the weekends or you're gonna stay long term in. Maybe it's for a family that has kids that are in cheerleading or soccer, or baseball, and you're always traveling. And so now you need a place that instead of going to the hotel for $200 a night and meals at $200 a day, you're going in your new recreational utility vehicle and you're staying right there at the field. So when it rains, you can come inside. You got your own entertainment inside with TVs. You've got your own kitchenette. You've got your own restroom, which is a big thing. So you don't have to be using those porta potties out at those uh, soccer fields. If it starts raining, you can go right inside. And when you look at this, since you can finance this coach longer than you can a typical car, it's gonna be the same kind of payment or less than what a traditional big SUV will be. If you're in the market for a Suburban or an Escalade or a big Nissan, this is gonna probably cost you less on a monthly payment than what a traditional SUV would be. And of course, in an SUV, what don't you get that you get here on this recreational utility vehicle? You get big storage. You get storage that's passed through from one side to the other. So now if you've got golf clubs, kayaks, ladders, um, if you're big into fishing and you wanna do a lot of fly fishing, you got places you can put them. Not only that, you've also got a place where you can enjoy, so you can put your awning out. So you put your awning out, it comes out, it covers up your camp area. So what does that do? Now you can sit outside in the chairs. You can also watch TV because we do have an optional exterior TV on this coach. It's 32 inches because honestly, any place you go, if you've got children or you've got guests, if you want to kind of watch different programs, if you're big at tailgating, this would be perfect because of this being a utility vehicle, this has got the things that allow you to tailgate inside, cook on the um, inside, tailgate on the outside, and then people back in the bedroom area. So it's really a great combination of everything. When you work your way back throughout the rest of the coach, you'll see more multiple storage compartments. And then we get to the back, which we call our mega storage. And the mega storage is one big pass-through storage compartment that goes from one side to the other, which now, if you've got coolers or you've got some of those bigger things, maybe you're a kayaker. Maybe you want to go somewhere just for the weekend and you want to do some kayaking. You can throw your kayaks right in the back. It's perfect as you're going down there. And of course, this is a fully contained unit. So now you've got your generator, you've got your air conditioner, you've got your furnace. So all those things that really make this a home on wheels uh, make it perfect for those weekends of, of traveling, for just maybe the trip down to Florida. Think about how much better this is going to be when you've got the kids in seat belts, on the sofa, watching the television, up front, you can swivel the seats, you can make conversation time. And then of course, once we get inside, you'll see just how great the inside is and just how user-friendly it is. So it, it isn't like traveling in a car. I don't think people are gonna be asking, are we there yet? They're gonna be, wow, this is so much fun traveling in this vehicle compared to anything we've ever traveled in the past. John will show us the interior in a moment, but first we have to take this short break. Exciting great things do come in small packages, like exceptional quality, extreme comfort, and luxurious appointments. You'll find all this and more wrapped up in one beautiful package, the Pleasureway Pursuit. See for yourself by visiting pleasureway.com. Weight distribution comes out of the Stone Age. Steel on steel friction is 50 years old. The Sway Pro makes other weight distributing hitches seem, well, prehistoric. The Sway Pro features a softer ride, built-in optimized sway prevention, quiet backing and turning, and little maintenance. Finally, intelligent engineering gives you a much better way to prevent sway and smooth your ride. Why trust an amateur when you can go with a pro? Sway Pro. Let's take a look at the inside. <clears throat> Just look at how easy it was to come up into this cockpit area. There's no engine that I had to step over. There's no hump or anything I had to step on. The captain's chairs here are that very pet friendly material with the leatherette. You can see that it's got some, uh, some transition here to this rattan look, um, which is actually carried through with the rest of the cabinet doors throughout the uh, unit. And then of course, we've kind of got our center stack here, which is really cool because you've got a touch screen radio this is where all your backup monitor and everything comes through. 
You also have some central switches, your heating and air conditioning control. And then the big thing is, is that if you're gonna travel and you're gonna be somewhere, you're gonna need some accessibility to some of your uh, major things that you do, uh, like social media, maybe some emails, some work things, because maybe this isn't gonna be just a travel coach, maybe this is gonna be your work coach. So multiple 12 volt ports, also dedicated USB ports up here. So now if you gotta travel and you've gotta charge your tablet, you've gotta charge your, uh, your phone, it can all be done right here. And then of course, up here in the dash area, there's also a built-in computer tray and that computer tray can flip out. So when you're traveling down the road, put your tablet or your laptop up there, you can work and, and be uh, um, kind of at the office away from the office. So it gives you the best of both worlds. And of course we saw the windshield from the outside, but of course when you get inside is where it really looks great because this is your, your focal point. This is what you're looking at when you're looking out at the, uh, at the sky and whether you are just driving or whether you're enjoying nature or whatever else you have outside, this windshield is nice and large, gives you plenty of visibility, but it's not so big that it's hard to actually cover up when the sun's coming at you. There's a power shade that actually comes down and will cover this. You use that for your sunblock. Also, you use that at nighttime, so you don't have anything coming through, so you get that blackout. The dash is nice and rolling forward, but as you sit in the cockpit chair here, you'll notice it doesn't feel real big. It feels compact and small up here, um, so it's very intimate. So you're close to your passenger, so it's easy to have a conversation. The road noise is very low when it's up here as you're traveling. And then, of course, you still have access with these chairs. As you can see, we can either come into the living area or we can dedicate ourselves in the cockpit and you can still have the, uh, the seat belt um, application. And the great thing about a recreational utility vehicle is that without an airbag here on the front end, because these kind of vehicles are usually not um, in any kind of an accident, you have the safety of a seat belt here, a seat belt here, and then also a seat belt in the sofa for three occupants. So seating for five, all with seat belts. And up above me, we even have a drop down bunk that allows us to have more sleeping in the, uh, in the front part of the coach. Um, when it drops down, it really changes the way that this looks because sleeping here, you've also got sleeping on the sofa and then we'll see some sleeping back in the back. So for such a small unit of only 25 feet, it feels like it sleeps like a 38 or a 40 footer. There's so many things inside of here that make this so much better than a regular sports utility vehicle. And that's why we call it pure recreation. We've got your kitchen area and the kitchen is full function. You've got countertop. You've got a full sink. You've got a cooktop. You have drawer storage below. We have an option where you can get an oven inside of this if you're somebody that really likes to bake bread. You've got a fully functioning, functioning microwave. And then of course, I talked a little bit about the rattan and we talk about the, the look. So the captain's chairs, the sofa, the cabin doors all kind of match with each other. And then across from the kitchen, we have our main seating area. So not only does the um, kitchen kind of lead over to the main living room area, the cockpit chairs turn around and now you've got seating for five or six people all in this front living area. And of course, you've got cup holders, multiple cup holders in this coach. So there's plenty of room to put your cups and your drinks. You've got storage overhead. And then as you look at the sofa, you'll notice that one of the things that we have is we have LED lighting. So we try to be very eco-conscious about this coach and everything that goes into it. That's why it has a 4.0 generator, which is very quiet and uses a lot, not very much fuel. We have the LED lighting, which can run for a long time. It doesn't take a lot of electricity and obviously keeps the heat down on the inside of the coach. That will actually, um, the sofa will turn into a full hide-a-bed with air mattress. So now there are three distinct sleeping areas. So sleeping for five to six people inside of this coach. So if you are traveling, you do want to spend the night, you have full functionality um, without having to uh, go out and get a bigger unit. At Jayco, we're a lot more than just an RV manufacturer. We're all about family. And we've been making family dreams come true since 1968. To see our complete product line and find your nearest Jayco dealer, visit us online at jayco.com or just log on to rollingontv.com. And now, let's look at a couple of top-of-the-line coaches from Thor. Here on the Tuscany XTE, this is brand new for 2014. The look on the outside is vastly improved. 
It's got brand new headlight features. It's got new fog light features. It's even got some cool LEDs that light up on the front cap. The windshield has been um, raised and it's actually larger. So you get more visibility out of the front. And this just looks like a mean coach coming at you. It, it just screams out that you've kind of arrived um, when it comes to a diesel motor home. This bottle has triple slide out. So it really gives you a lot of expanse with dual slides up front and one back in the back. And when you get inside, you're gonna see just how big it is. And even though it's a motor home, it feels uh, a lot bigger than most people's studio apartment that you'd have in the city. Now in your diesel pusher, you're gonna want a central command center. And that's why on the Tuscany XTE, everything is located in a single compartment. Your inverter control, your power management control, your heating and air conditioning control, along with your slide out rooms, and then your tank monitoring, and everything to do with your water pump are all in one spot. So there's no searching back and forth in the coach to figure out how to put your slide rooms in or out or to check your power, because it's all located in one area. So in the living room of this 40 GQ, um, it's really got a, a great setup for um, entertainment or just livability. Because obviously when you're inside of a motorhome and you're here for a while, um, it's so small that you don't want to be um, you know, so close to each other. Maybe you want a little space. So I've got a, a big seating area here on the sofa, which turns into a bed. Um, but it's directly across from a 46 inch TV. And so now I can be entertaining or I can be watching the big game. And then directly across from me next to the TV is also gonna be either another sofa or a set of Euro chairs. And that's gonna overlook my camp area. So now I've got a good view of my camp area. I've got multiple seating areas. Um, so now if I wanna kinda sit here and just relax and watch the TV and my wife maybe wants to sit across from me and read a book or get some natural light under the patio awning or maybe watch the, the kids outside, um, we can accommodate both. And then of course we've got some really cool home features. Um, like underneath the TV, we actually have an entertainment cabinet that has a fireplace. So the fireplace lights up, it gives off some heat, it looks really cool, um, but it gives you that home, home feeling again. Um, so you don't feel like you're in a motor home any longer, you feel like you're at your house. Now let's take a look at the Chef's Choice Kitchen. As you can see here, nice solid surface countertop all the way across. It really gives a high-end feel and appearance. Lots of storage, because of course, if you're gonna have a kitchen, you gotta have places to put your pots and your pans and your glasses and your dishes. So it's all included here in the Tuscany XTE. Multiple drawer banks. We even have a little silverware drawer underneath here that flips down. And while it doesn't look like much, it's the perfect place to put sponges or dish rags or uh, maybe a little something that you don't want out on the countertop. Appliance wise, you've got the big 30 inch OTR microwave. It's all in stainless steel and it's convection. So now you can do all your convection cooking, anything you could do in an oven, you can now do in your microwave. And then you still have the traditional three burner cooktop with more storage below. And then if you're gonna go, you might as well go with the gusto. So that's why we have such a large refrigerator. So this 20 cubic foot model is a French door. So you've got your big opening doors up top and then you've got your pull out freezer at the bottom. But let's not forget if you're gonna have all that, you're also gonna need some pantry space. So plenty of pantry space to put all those boxes of mac and cheese um, or all that mushroom soup that you gotta have while you're on the road. Here in the, in the eating area, you can see we've got uh, a real cool look as far as the wealth and everything that goes on the furniture. You can also see that we have a kind of a custom designer light that's up above. And that's where our designers spend a lot of time and a lot of effort trying to figure out exactly um, what to put it in the coach, what people will like. And of course, um, it's from a female perspective, which we know that uh, is what is helping sell the interior of the coach. And as we work our way back, you're gonna see it's got a, a, a neat little bathroom area. It's split, it's got the shower on one side, it's got the lavatory on the other side. And uh, most people don't think about it, but the shower actually has a little seat and uh, a little ledge in it. And then when you move back into the bedroom, you're gonna have um, a full-size king bed. It's a uh, part of our Denver mattress sleep system that's in all the Thor Motor Coach product. And it even has a stackable washer and dryer, uh, which goes with the uh, nice big wardrobe back in the back. So it's fully functioning back there. Uh, and it's definitely gonna be the place where uh, you're gonna get plenty nights good sleep. Well, hope you enjoyed this week's special show of the RV Industry Open House. And be sure to tune in next week for part two. For more information on anything you saw on this week's show, along with additional videos and stories, visit our website at rollingontv.com. For the latest up-to-the-minute RV news, visit our media partners at rvbusiness.com.